Small renal masses are among the most common kidney tumors urologists see in clinic. Small refers to solid tumors four centimeters or less, and four centimeters is about the size of a golf ball. If we removed all of the four centimeter tumors, we know that 20 to 30% are benign tumors, and of the cancers, the vast majority are low-grade indolent tumors, meaning a benign behaving cancer. Certain characteristics can change those numbers. Women are more likely to harbor benign tumors, and the smaller a mass, the less likely it is a dangerous tumor. For masses smaller than two centimeters, the risk of that being a kidney cancer that would spread from the kidney is less than 1%. For a three centimeter mass, it is about one to 2%, and for masses greater than four centimeters, it can be five to 10%. Given the understanding that most small renal masses are not dangerous, there are a few options for management of these tumors. Many patients choose surgery, and this can include surgical removal, freezing or burning of the small renal mass and preservation of the kidney, and in some cases, removal of the entire kidney. An alternative to surgical options is active surveillance. Active surveillance refers to careful monitoring of both a patient and their small renal mass to make sure that it is not growing or changing in a dangerous way. Urologists at Johns Hopkins are among the leaders in active surveillance for small renal masses and the DISSRM registry, Delayed Intervention and Surveillance for Small Renal Masses, or DISARM has been open since 2009, cataloging the outcomes of hundreds of patients who chose to follow their small renal mass rather than undergo surgery. Since 2009, we have learned that most small renal masses, about 80%, grow very slowly or not at all. Some small renal masses will grow at a suspicious rate for aggressive cancer, and we do recommend surgery in about 15% of our patients. Importantly, no patients have had kidney cancer spread from their kidney, and no patient has died of kidney cancer in our program. Active surveillance involves periodic imaging with either CT scans, MRI, or ultrasound, and annual laboratory testing to ensure general well-being and kidney health. Imaging is typically recommended every six months for two years to establish a baseline growth rate, and then annually thereafter if a small renal mass remains stable in size. Renal mass biopsy, urine tests, and molecular imaging can be used to guide management in some patients. At Johns Hopkins, we recognize that not all small renal masses require immediate surgery, and we work with our patients to develop an individualized plan for active surveillance to keep a close eye on their small renal mass and ensure their overall good health.